and then your experience across the states and housing and and then you have talked about the ecosystem of supports and in many forums and in, and you have to deal with multiple different departments and then we've talked about ecosystem of supports today at length as well and how does that one word fixes everything is that on yep okay yeah. look, big question as well actually look i think i think actually it's probably a good conversation for us to have because i think there's been a this saying that's been thrown around i think the minister throws it around often that the ndis is the only lifeboat in the ocean and in, and in many ways i think what's happened through the transition not probably by design or intent is that there's been a retreat from some of the accessibility of some of the, the regular services that we have right through our community, whether it's health, whether it's justice, mental health, whatever it is. And so subsequently, the scheme for a lot of people has ended up as the destination, the way of getting any support that's appropriate. And I don't think that was ever uh, intended, and it was certainly not the intent that we all set out on. So in some ways, to, to Fiona's point, we are talking about the same things we were talking about at the start here. But we have the benefit of having learnt those lessons now through the last 10 years. And I think it's fine to say we've probably, it's a bit like Groundhog Day in some ways, but we have the benefit of those learnings, I think. And we also need to recognise that for everybody in this room, as well as many others across the country, everyone's worked enormously hard to change a system from what was a block funded, very controlled and very rationed system that didn't have a lot of choice and control into something that's far more individualized and meets the needs of people where they are, not to say that it hasn't got a lot of work to do. So I think when we think about some of the recommendations that are likely to come out of the review around very accessible mainstream services that actually do a lot better in trying to accommodate people with different needs, and then the sort of foundational supports that will be available to everybody who has a disability, who may not be necessarily going on to become a participant of the scheme, talk to an idea where we're trying to do everything we can at a very essential level to be inclusive and to be able to accommodate people into the service systems because the one thing that also come out of the DRC is that we want to see an end to segregation and we want to see a more inclusive community. So I think some of those structural elements that are being described are actually really important to achieve those ends. Now, the politics of that will be difficult because this comes down to the Commonwealth and the states negotiating. We all know in the different jurisdictions that we operate that there were different bilateral arrangements, there are different phasings, different times. And so the issues, although having some commonality, are quite different and it will take the resolve of everybody working together to actually move us forward in that agenda. Thank you. Thank you, Drew.